In this video, I'm going to go over a problem in our system called capturing, and I'm going to show you that you should never do something that results in capturing, and these are actually related to the restrictions on universal instantiation and existential generalization. So UI has this strange restriction. Even though uh, fundamentally the rule says that you can UI to anything you want, there is a restriction that says you can't UI to a letter that is actually bound to another quantifier under the scope of the original universal. Okay, so what does that mean? It just means you can't do anything that captures an extra variable letter. So let's take a look at this example here. Doesn't matter, pretend this is line 4 in a derivation, really doesn't matter. Now what we could do is we could UI this, and we know that you, we can change the x to anything we want. So of course I could say make it fb, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with uh, making it a b. Okay, so I'm just going to erase that because there's nothing wrong with that, and I'm actually trying to show you what is wrong. And in fact, I could change it to x, I could change it to z. But there is one variable letter I'm not allowed to change to. And if you just think about it, it makes sense. The letter I cannot change to is y. And the reason why is because when you look at it, what I've done is I've UI'd, and of course UI says that you have to change all the corresponding variable letters, all of them, because they correspond to that, and so here I change them all to Y. But we have a problem now in the finished form. Now this HY seems to belong to this existential, as well as the GY, and that's not the case originally. Originally the H is really under the scope of the universal X, and not really being affected by the existential Y. But after I did the UI to the letter here, which was the Y, you can see that I captured uh, the H under the existential. So by fiddling with the F and the H predicate, which were under the universal, somehow the existential captured something new that it shouldn't have, so of course this is no good. That is not a valid instance of universal instantiation, and you can never do that. This doesn't happen too, too often, but you need to look for it when you have nested um, quantifiers, so one inside the other. Now some people think that the uh, capturing rule is impacted by names as well, so some people would look at this and say, oh, you know, this is the one that I can't do, and you would think that this is wrong. In fact, there's nothing wrong with this, and the reason why is nothing new is captured because there's no quantifier to capture it, so this is A-OK. -okay. So the problem arises when you have extra quantification and then you would capture something new. So don't do that. That's the restriction on universal instantiation. Now the restriction is similar for existential generalization. So let's say I'm looking at this and I want to generalize my F predicate. And so one thing I could do is of course I, I could say there exists an X, FX, and HY. And that's perfectly correct. But it turns out that this x is somewhat arbitrary. I could replace it with a different variable letter if I wanted, like z. And we all know that this is perfectly correct too. But there is one variable letter that I cannot uh, select, and let's take a look. The one that I can't pick is y. Now if you think about it, the reason why is because I just generalized my f of x here. And so this should really just play with my f predicate. But in selecting y as my variable letter, I also included magically that the hy is under the scope and really affected by this existential. And of course we know that that's not the original intention, so that cannot be. Same thing happens in sort of more complicated things. You can sort of look at something like this and immediately see that the letter, if I want to existentially generalize everything, both instances of the x, so I'll highlight both instances of the x here. If I want to existentially generalize both instances of x, I can pick any variable letter except for z. Because if I picked z, I would get something funny. I would get, uh, there exists a z, f, z, and for all z, a, z, and g, z. And of course, that means that suddenly this g, z is under the scope of the universal. But that's not what I did over here, and so I've captured something under the universal. Now again, name letters, uh, people will be like, oh, that means you can't do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to write. People will think that that means you can't do this. There exists an a, f, a, and g, a. 
Well, actually, that's correct, but not for the right reason. The reason you can't do this is you can't existentially generalize to name letters at all. So you have to pick a variable letter, but it turns out because this is not a variable, I can actually existentially generalize to any variable letter I want because there's no risk ever of capturing that G. So as long as I leave the GA alone, this is no problem. So this is just a little slight explanation on capturing. Capturing is really important because it turns out to sort of arise in some of the more complicated questions, especially things related to the blind UI. And, uh, and you want to avoid any sort of mistake like this because it actually is sort of a cheat, logically doesn't follow in most cases. And uh, yeah, it makes questions a lot easier if you do this cheat. So we're going to make sure that this isn't allowed.